Okay guys, we're back at it. Um, we haven't quite made it as far as we wanted to, but we're pulling our water line today. I gotta be quick because the boy's on the ice down here. I don't like him being down there by himself, but he's like way down there. You see a little black dot bounce around. So he's out there busting through three inches of ice. But you see what's going on in the pile here? So we're pulling the water line today. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're reevaluating the whole trap line. You guys, if you watch me long enough, I'll probably drive some of you guys freaking nuts. Just because I'm like a squirrel chasing a nut guy. I like to uh, hit them fast, hit them hard, and get the fuck out of town. You know? Just like a deadbeat dad. Right. So, yeah. Brand new traps. I'll probably have issues with them bitching about rust lines on these fucking muskrats. I got some phosphoric acid. Uh, that might take that out of them. Um... Yeah, so we got two muskrats today. That's good. That means we're five, seven, eight. So we're at the eight. We're at the eight that we wanted to get the payoff for all the new little muskrat traps I got. So that's good. It's two hundred dollars sitting right there. Well, I guess I don't have to go pick them up. I'm doing these two stuff. I got a pile up there. Huh? There's a pile up there. Okay. Anything else or no? Uh, just that 220 or 230, whatever it was. Yeah, we got left? Yeah. Okay. They had one beaver trap set up in there. That, uh, looked pretty good. The hole was too big for a muskrat, so we put a 220 in there. Yeah, I always seem to somehow get the fucking sun in the background, don't I? Let's try that. Except you got a raccoon snows in there. Oh, brand new one tens, man. They got they got some heat to them. I think these things got a little more fire to them than a than my older two twenty. So there's that. Two pretty good runs. This one was in a leading edge set. This was kind of in a den set. This was on Area 51. This one was on my levee system. All the same water drainage, so $25 a tail. So we got uh, 50 bucks sitting here. That's good money. So um, what's nice about this, and you guys might see it, this might extend my season a little bit better. Because in the spring, I can trap these on my nuisance permit as long as I get all my paperwork filled out before the end of the month. And uh, so we'll get that all filled out for DNR and uh, go from there. So, again, the sun's never cooperative here. I know I got a few over here I got to pick up. We just got to make sure we don't run any over. I almost ran over one of my coyote sets today. Farmer came in. He's over here bailing. I might run over and see what we can get as far as. Um, just put your socks on and you can walk down there. I'll pull it. Yeah, I'll put my socks on. Okay. Um, waiter's got a hole in them, so we bring an extra pair of socks with us whenever we go around. So, I kind of like this angle up here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I moved it up higher because it was too low and the heat from the, and there's too much contour on the windshield that my phone holder wasn't, uh, dress in the middle of the room, so. Oh, I moved it. You moved that little one that was on the road? Yep. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I really like this angle. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see what it looks like out the windshield. Oh, look at that. I just gave away some of my location. So, yeah. Sorry I cut out there. I just hit the stop button instead of flip it back around but I think about 50 yards behind us we had the coyote set stolen and uh, I got to thinking cause last year or the year before I think it was last year I had put a bunch of coyote sets in caught somebody's pheasant dog somehow through the line the trap ended up missing but through the line somehow we uh, found out who it was and 
a small town, you know. And uh, found out who it was, and he just chucked it on the train tracks. Um, so I'm thinking, if I'm lucky, in the spring we'll come in here. I bet you that trap's laying in this creek somewhere, you know. So we might just got pissed off and threw it in the creek after kitchen. Because they run these levees, even though this is technically private property, they think it's county-owned property and they can do whatever the fuck they want on here. But it's not. It's still technically private property. Um, and you have to have permission from the people who own it, which is the levee board. So, I'm thinking, we caught somebody's dog. There's two options. I caught a coyote. Somebody's seen a coyote. Came down here, was jacking around, running this levee at night, poaching. And, uh seen my coyote in that trap and took off with it or I caught somebody's dog that got pissed off and threw my trap in the creek it's really the only two options so um, yeah but that's what we got so we got the bonus two muskrats and a coon today I really wasn't even trapping so but a trick for if you got stuff like those were brand new traps so I wanted to set them out get all the oils might as well they're just completely submerged straight down so, the problem is, they rust, um, and I think a lot of my 110s, I'm just gonna, we're gonna, when we're boiling traps here in a little bit, we're going to, uh, boil off all the 110s, let them dry, and then we're just gonna spray paint them black. Uh, they don't, I don't need to be going through dipping them. So we're gonna boil all our traps today, reset, we're about halfway through through the first month at least and I'm getting ready so I call it halfway through because I'm moving a big line and uh, so we're going to boil everything and get everything re-ready to go clean out the bags because I think I had some baits leaking in my tool bag and I need to reevaluate and get that set up to where I have a bucket of stuff and at each set I pull out what I want to use but um, I think that coyote we caught yesterday I could be wrong was uh on some on the Bass Brothers lures. I don't know. I never even got my hands on the coyote yet. He's hanging up in the skin and shed because my dad skinned him out for me too because he knows I've been working pretty long hours. So uh, between him and the boy, they got almost everything skinned out. We just got a big pile of fur in there now. So we just got to finish out and then um, go from there, guys. So. I'll try to keep the talking down. I know I was over watching my shit with Jay the other day, and we're, uh, he's like, yeah, you need to stop talking so much. But well, hopefully, we'll get into some catches so you don't have to listen to me talk. Or I start setting you up and talk to you along on the trap line, but it's easier if I, for me to talk to you when I'm in between traps because it's just one more step. So. Alright, guys. God bless. Keep on grinding, guys. That's what we're here to do. Work your asses off and the rewards pay themselves. Take care.